From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tisha. Hi folks, and welcome to another episode of Ropecast, and welcome back, Roger Charlton. Thank you. Good to have you back. Yes, it's been a while. It's been a while. You've been busy. I have been extremely busy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, fortunately, I had Christoph Klein to do a few episodes with me, but it's really, really great to have you back. Thank you. I'm very happy about that. And there's actually a special reason why it's so great to have you back. Do you know what this episode is? I think I do. It is, yeah, from your smile, I can see it. It's, Folks, this is our 50th episode. We never thought we'd ever get that far. Yeah. Isn't that great? It is. Uh, We're going to celebrate somehow. Yeah, we, we ought to. Uh, actually, I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any champagne in the studio here with me. No, uh, but I have an idea. Do you? And that is, um, it all started out from the symbol used by our university here, which, as you know, is an owl. Yes. So I started to think about places and symbols. How do people uh -huh. connect things? Uh -huh. And since I'm from the UK... Uh -huh. I was thinking, yeah, um, we have symbols that represent the UK. Yeah, but what's that got to do? And so on. I thought, well, what about 50 symbols in five minutes or something like that? This oh my God. number okay. 50. I think we already did two minutes, but okay, <laughs> let's start. 50 symbols for regions, countries, that sort of thing? Exactly. Well, what are you going to start with, the UK? Starting with the UK, which is my home country. Uh -huh. um, one of the big symbols for us is the monarch's head. The Queen's head, as it is at the moment. Uh huh. Okay, um, which is on the stamps and everything. Exactly. If you're a stamp collector, the uh -huh. only way you know you've got a British stamp is that the Queen's head is there. Uh huh. It doesn't say Britain or UK or anything like that. It's the Queen's head. It's right. The Queen's head. Yeah. What else? Uh, what else kind of symbols do you have? Well, you, of course, you have mottos. Okay. If you look at uh, coins, you very often find these. Mm hmm. And okay. with the UK, it's not in English. Right. It's either in Latin or in French. Ah. Okay. Dieu et mon droit. Okay. You will see on our coinage. Okay. Dieu et mon droit. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Which so. shows how important French was in our history. Right. What about the flags? And oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. The Union flag, as we call it, or sometimes it's the Union Jack, is mm -hmm. actually composed of different flags from the component parts of the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. People may be familiar with the Scottish flag, mm -hmm. the saltire, as it's called, with blue and white. Mm hmm this is part of the Union Jack. So okay. there are all kinds of uh, flags which are symbolic. Strangely enough, though, people outside the UK, if they're looking for a symbol of yeah. Britain, right. they tend to think of that part of the Houses of Parliament okay. that tends to be called Big Ben. You know what I mean? All right. Okay. The huge tower there. Right, right. Which, strictly speaking, is not Big Ben. That's the, that's the sound that you hear. Right. It's the bell. Yeah. It's the bell. Okay. So you see that we have unofficial symbols as well right, as right. official ones. Of course, you have another symbol. It's the Tower Bridge, which is a symbol for London. Well, yes, yeah, so that's more London than, mm -hmm. than Britain itself. It's a symbol. Yeah. <laughs> and then for England, yeah. we have the rose. Ah, yeah. The flower. Ah, no? That's in the, in the Elton John song, English Rose as well, right? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. And then um, two parts of England use uh -huh. roses as well. Okay. Um, a reminder of something like a civil war it's mm -hmm. not called the civil war the wars of the roses mm -hmm. which kind of brought to an end the middle ages in it's english the same history. symbol other meaning though mm -hmm. red rose and white rose for lancashire okay. and yorkshire uh -huh. and these are still used today when sports teams meet each other do flowers all play a role in other uh, they certainly do places um the welsh flower is the daffodil Daffodil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Although, as in the Wordsworth poem, right? That's it. House yeah. of Daffodils. Okay. And uh, you would not believe it, but a closely related plant is the leek, uh -huh. a vegetable, a rather smelly vegetable. Uh huh. And okay. this seems to have a longer tradition of um, symbolic of Wales, because mm -hmm. we find references in Shakespeare and mm -hmm. even earlier of this leek. Okay. Which people wear on St. David's Day, the Welsh Day, the 1st of March. Okay. Well, wow, that's a lot of symbols. We have a lot to go. Yeah. What about other symbols? Uh, well, then we Wales? have Scotland. Scotland, With yeah. its thistle. Uh -huh. And they say the origin of that uh, that's a is... a plant. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The origin of that is unknown. But okay. there is a legend which says when the Norwegians were trying to invade Scotland all those years ago, mm -hmm. they took their boots off to be quiet and mm -hmm. came in the night. 
But one of them stepped on a thistle and yelled and gave ah. the game away. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm sure that's a legend, though. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, in the case of Ireland, of course, Ireland is – there's a Republic of Ireland, an independent country. Right. But I guess a lot of people know the shamrock or clover leaf, mm -hmm. which is a okay. symbol of Irishness. Uh, but don't have, they have an instrument as well? The harp. The harp, right, yeah. which is on the coins, but, I think. And that's also a symbol for Wales. Ah, okay. So it's kind of a Celtic symbol. Ah, right, okay. And then the part of Ireland that is still connected yeah. with the UK, which many people refer to as Ulster, Ulster right. has as its symbol the red hand. The just, red just hand. A, a hand, red hand. Colored, colored red. Do you call that the red hand of Ulster? Exactly. Ah, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. and all of these things can be seen on postage stamps. Ah, right. Okay, that's, of course, important when you get symbolic. What yeah. about if you leave the mainland, um, Great Britain, and, okay, I'll count... Um, I'll count Ireland a little bit as mainland, if you <laughs> allow. Going to, well, Australia? Australia. Well, the flag of Australia has the British flag in the corner. Right. So there's a connection there. But it has stars in it, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll come back to the stars in a little while. Mm -hmm. Then we've got, uh, what do people think of? The kangaroo, mm -hmm. the emu, that strange right. flightless bird Uh huh. Yeah, right. with its long legs. Uh, the, 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 the bear, the... Koala? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, a little less so. Uh -huh. And officially, the Australians have a tree as one of their symbols. It's a kind of wattle. A wattle. W-A-T-T-L-E. Uh -huh. I'm very bad on biology and all that. <laughs> right. So we've got plants as well. Uh-huh. Okay. And New Zealand, we have the kiwi. Um, not the plant. Uh, not the, the bird. Fruit. The bir yeah. bird and then the, the fruit. The fruit, yeah. okay. Which is okay. probably better known around the world. Yes, right, right. Uh -huh. And the word kiwi is used as a synonym for a New Zealander. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah. you... Mm -hmm. So the people are called kiwis and sometimes these words are also used for sports teams. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. South Africa, mm -hmm. the rugby team, right. the Springboks. Um, you know, that's a strange kind of... That's a sort of an antelope? Yes. Or sort of like that? Yeah. yeah. So we uh -huh. have animals as well. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, Canada, the maple leaf. Yeah, that's, of course, that, and in a way, Canadians feel also that maple syrup is a symbol for their country. Right. <laughs> that's and then, interesting. When we get to the USA. By the way, oh. speaking of the maple leaf, do you know why the Canadian flag is has a maple leaf in the middle and it has these two red sides? No. Because they have two coasts. Oh, exactly. So basically, the middle is the maple leaf, and then you have the coast. So that's another symbol. It's actually lines, but you think that yeah. they think there's a coast. Right. Mm -hmm. But when we get to the United States, then we have dozens or even hundreds of symbols. Yeah, that's because it's a federal country. Yeah. Um, yeah. But let's it's talking. You can talk about the national symbols there first. The bald uh, eagle. The bald eagle, of course. Uh, that is. They have mottos also in Latin, a pluribus unum. Yeah. Um, then, of course, they would consider Capitol Hill as a symbol. Yes. Then you have, oh, we have a bell like Big Ben. That's the Liber Liberty, Liberty Bell. bell. Right. And that's, it's actually a cracked bell, and mm -hmm. it's in Pennsylvania. It is not, that was the first capital, and you can look yeah. at it there. And it's a cracked bell. You can buy that everywhere, like, everywhere as a little, you know, souvenir to take along. It's like the Eiffel Tower to take <laughs> along for somewhere else. Wait, what other symbols do they have? But I found, for example, if you if you do an internet search, then you find that every single state of the United States of America has at least one flower as its symbol, alongside other things like mm -hmm. even dinosaurs. Uh, yeah, they have flowers, dinosaurs. There's a state something. Uh, there's a state beverage uh, as a symbol. There's a state, uh, state food very often yeah. as a symbol. Um, all kinds of things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which brings us back to 50, doesn't it? 50 states of the United States of America. That's, of course, in the flag. Yeah. Um, well, actually, you have two numbers of states in the flag. Uh, you have stars and stripes as the flag. I think yeah. everybody can picture that. So the stars um, are the number of stars, a uh, number of states that you have currently in the Union. Yeah. So at the beginning, it used to be 13 stars in that blue yeah. field, and now they're to 50. Right. So we have our 50th thing. And uh, and the stripes? Uh, and the stripes are actually 13, and they will remain for 13 because those are the founding states of 
the United States of America. So, so we so we can round off with our fifty again. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. I am not sure actually whether we got fifty symbols into that podcast. So uh, if anybody out there has counted the number of symbols that we actually presented to you in our fiftieth podcast, just leave us a note on our website www.ropecast.de, and the first one to get the number right will win a little prize. Okay. Fine. Okay. I think that's a nice thing uh, for our 50th episode. And I hope everybody will tune in or download again our 51st episode because there's one thing I want to get back to those United States. Right. Okay. Fine. Bye-bye. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University. Featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.